A finite state machine M is said to have an output of order mu if mu is the last integer, least integer such that the knowledge of last mu number of output symbols are sufficient to determine the state of M at some time during the last mu transition. That means using the last mu output symbol, we can determine some state, uh, we can determine uh, the state of M at some time during the last mu transition. Now how to determine whether a given machine is a finite output memory machine and how to find out the order. Now we will be doing that in this tutorial. Now let us consider this given machine. This is a finite state machine. Now we need to check out whether this given machine is a finite output memory machine of uh, uh, finite output memory machine or not and then we will be finding the order of this machine mu. Now in order to do that, in order to check whether this is a finite output memory machine or not, just we need to develop a testing table and then we need to draw the testing graph by using that uh, testing table. And if the graph is loop free, then it is a finite output memory machine. And if the graph contains a loop, then it's not a finite output memory machine. And the longest path plus one is the order of the machine mu. So first of all, we need to develop the testing table for this. Now the testing table, in the upper part of the testing table is the output successor table and we need to build it in this way. The present state, then each column has to be there against each output. So there are two outputs, output alphabets, alphabet contains 0 and 1. So we have two columns 0 and 1 here. Now we need to develop the testing table. The upper part contains A, B, C and D. Four states corresponding the states of the table. Now Z is equal to 0. For this column what you need to do is to find out what state transition gives output 0. Now for A, for input 0 it goes to B and provides output 0. So, so for, 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 for A when the input is 0 then it goes to B and provides output 0. So output 0 is actually given by state B. So state B should come here. Now what actually causes output 1 for A? Now for input 1 it goes to D and it produces 1. So z is equal to 1 that means output output 1 is produced by state d from a okay now for b both of these state transitions causing output 1 for 0 it is goes it is going to c producing 1 for 1 is going to a producing again 1 so b produces 1 b produces 1 for both a and c so you should write both a and c here within a bracket. The earlier alphabet should come first. That means it's not CA, you should write AC. And since nothing is producing 0 for B, so it's actually left blank. For C, both the inputs are actually producing. So for C, both the inputs are producing 0. Uh, hence, it should be B and C here because C transits to both B and C on given 0 and 1 respectively and producing 0 uh, and nothing is producing 1 so it's left blank for C we are not getting output 1 for in any cases uh, for D 0 is produced while transiting to C for input 0 and 1 is produced again on transiting to C for input 1. So we are done with the upper part of the output successor table. Now what we need to do is to produce the or find out the lower part of the testing table and that will help us to generate the merger uh, that will help us to generate the graph by which we would be able to find out whether this given machine is a finite output memory machine or not. Now in order to find out whether in the lower part of the testing table combine each state with other that means you should have a b a with b then a with c then a with d then b with c then b with d then c with d so these are the one two three four five six combinations of states 
state pairs that we have now since on the right hand side of this uh, lower part of the testing table just go on doing the union with the corresponding output producer states now b is b for a, a and there is nothing for b here for so what you you should do you should lift it blank now d for a is here and ac for b is here so now each state of this b that means a and c has to be combined with d that means here it should be a with d and it should be c with d so what you need to do for the c for bc for, for sorry for ac it should be bb for ac it should be b with b and c with b so b with b and c with b for ac here it should be left as blank ad it is bc b should be combined with c for ad and d should be combined with c that means cd for bc it is it should be left blank because here we have blank so bc left blank for output 0 for bc it is again left blank for output 1 bd it is left blank for output 0 because c and blank is here for one output in the case of bd pair it should be a with c and c with c so it is a with c and c with c for cd pair it is b with c and c with c and here cd it should be left as blank so this is the lower part of the testing table now using this lower part we will be developing the graph uh, and by which we can determine whether the given machine is a finite output memory machine or not now for developing the graph each of the lower part uh, each of each row in the lower part is going to uh, constitute a, a, a node here AB is going to be one node in the graph AC is another so there will be six nodes for each pair in the lower part so the graph should contain six nodes six vertices and let me just draw the vertices first AB is one vertex AC is another one then AD comes then BC then BD then CD so these are the six vertices of the graph each from the lower part of this testing table now what you need to do is to find out whether the dependency here ab is the uh, uh, pair that is implying ad and cd so uh, there should be there should be an arc from ab to ad and also there should be an outgoing arc from ab to cd so that means if there are si and sj on this column and they have there are there is another pair sp and sq on the right hand side of the testing table say this one then there should be an outgoing arc from si sj to sp sq so here ab is the uncertainty pair and ad is the implied pair so from ab there should be an arc to ad and also to cd so ab to ad is one arc and ab to cd should be the other one then ac to cb should be one now if if same 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 state appears twice in a in a set then you should ignore this so bb has to be ignored so ac arrow cb should be or bc we should write it in this way it should be written as bc instead of cb always we write the earlier alphabet first so ac arrow bc ac arrow bc is another arc it should go here then ad arrow bc ad arrow bc ad is here arrow bc it should be another arc then ad arrow cd then ad arrow cd then comes bd arrow ac bd arrow ac bd arrow ac is another arc from bd it should be towards ac now cd arrow bc should be there we should leave this cd arrow bc so cd is here and bc is here so we are done with drawing the arcs now we need to find out whether this graph contains any 
any any any loop or not if this testing graph contains any loop then the given machine is not a finite output memory machine otherwise it is a finite output memory machine we can observe that this testing graph doesn't contain any loop so it's the given machine is a finite output memory machine now we are we need to find out the order of its uh, of this machine and the order mu is defined as the longest path of the machine plus one now we need to find out the longest path of this machine it's from bd to ac1 ac to bc1 1 plus 1 2 now we need to check out whether there is anything more ab to ad 1 ad to cd 2 and then cd to bc it's 3 so i think this is the longest path of the machine so it's 3 it's 1 ab to ad it's 1 then ad to bc it's 2 then bc i'm sorry i'm sorry then ad to cd it's 2 then cd to bc it's 3 so the longest path is 3 and the length of the the order of the machine is 3 plus 1 so it is 4 that's how we can find out whether a given machine is a finite output memory machine or not just draw the output successor table in this way the upper part of the testing table by considering the outputs of the machine okay now then develop the lower part of the machine and using the pair of states as the uh, vertex, vertex uh, you, uh, considering the pair of states as the vertex draw the testing graph by with the information that you have on the right hand side of the testing table uh, and then find out whether there is any loop or not if there is any loop it's not a finite output memory machine otherwise it is indeed a finite output memory machine and then find out the longest path if it is finite output memory machine add one with it and you get the order thank you very much for watching this video